the key to getting even double strokes, whether it's with our hands or with our feet, is to really make sure that the second note is of at least equal volume to the first note. For example, with the hands, we don't want to go loud, soft, loud, soft. We want to pull that second note to really even out the sound. Okay, so with the bass drum, it's the same thing. I don't want to go, here it's loud, soft. So what I do is I'm going to tap at the ball of the foot and then the weight of the whole leg comes down and really brings out that second note. Okay, so here's a slow to fast example. And when I play really slow, I'm actually going to do two single strokes. And as the speed picks up, then the technique will take over. So here's a slow to fast example. Right about there, switched over. So to do heel toe doubles, I'm not actually doing a true heel double. What I do is I'm going to start in the heel up position and I'm going to apply pressure through the ball of the foot like that. And when I do this, notice the beater almost hits a second time. So I'm just playing a heel up stroke. Heel up and ending down. So what I'm going to do is use that momentum to my advantage. So as soon as it rebounds off and starts to make its way towards the head, I'm just going to follow through like that. Okay, so I'm dropping and then following through. So it's a little faster. Okay, so I'm thinking more like ball of the foot, toe. Ball of the foot, toe. Rather than heel toe. The heel's coming down, but the pressure is the ball of the foot. So in the last example, I was mentioning how the beater starts making its way back towards the head. So we can actually play triplet patterns this way. Just use that rebound to our advantage. So when I drop down, then I'm going to tap with the toe and then follow through. Okay. 